This is a presentation on radial head fractures of the elbow. The elbow joint anatomy involves the humerus, radius, and ulna. The radial head articulates with the capitellum of the humerus forming the humoradial joint. It's responsible for elbow flexion and extension and forearm supination and pronation. Radial head fractures are a common elbow fracture injury. It's higher risk in women over 50 years of age or with osteoporosis. The mechanism is due to fall on an outstretched arm or direct trauma to the elbow with the arm in a pronated palms down position. There are other associated injuries such as wrist or elbow ligament injuries and the cerebral triad which is a radial head fracture, a coronoid fracture, and an elbow dislocation. There's a classification for radial head fractures, the Mason classification, which is based on degree of fracture displacement, loss of rotation, comminution, and elbow dislocation. 82% of all radial head fractures are in the least severe category requiring no surgery. Patient history and examination is crucial. There is a report of a fall into an arm. Typically, the patient cannot abduct the arm due to pain. There's lateral elbow pain and swelling and tenderness to the patient over the radial head. Workup involves imaging, x-rays, radiographs, or CT scan. Here are radiographs of an isolated radial head fracture. You can see on the AP and lateral view, the blue arrow pointing to a portion of the radial head that is broken. CT scan of that same patient shows a displaced fragment uh, with impaction and clearly on the second view here on the right you can see a large step off of the articular joint surface. 3D reconstruction of the CT scan shows a piece approximately 20 to 30 percent uh, in dimension that is displaced. Non-surgical treatment is appropriate for patients with minimally displaced fractures, less than two millimeters of displacement. Treatment is in immobilization for the sling for several days, followed by early active range of motion to avoid stiffness. Surgical options and indications are fragment and excision when the piece is less than 25% of the surface. Radial head resection when the radial head is in multiple fragments and it's appropriate for a patient with low functional demand. A radial head replacement is a severely common to fracture in three or four fragments where the radial head is replaced, and open reduction terminal fixation is appropriate when there's greater than two millimeters of displacement, limited form rotation, and a screw or two screws are used for fracture fixation. Here are intraoperative radiographs showing open reduction terminal fixation with a single screw of that same fracture with an anatomic reduction and excellent screw placement. Post-surgical care involves placement into a long arm splint with a sling after surgery. Early range of motion is begun with physical therapy. Complete bone healing occurs between 8 to 10 weeks. Complications, which are rare, include elbow stiffness, nerve injury during surgery, infection, or radiohumeral joint arthritis. This is postoperative x-rays showing good reduction of the fracture with a single screw.